to phase one. This is exactly why we did two days for the basement. Getting everything out that I no longer desire or require is phase one. I recruited my neighbor to assist with the carryout. Ooh wee! Basement! Everything you're about to see does not belong. It's gonna go. All these goodies gonna go, except for those suitcases. Those will stay for my adventures out in the world. Plenty to donate, sell. Let's make a deal. Even some new stuff, which is exciting. Somebody's gonna get, whoa, a pink Snuggie. Who's the lucky person that's gonna get the blanket that has sleeves? Can't wait to find out. Yeah. One of the helpful things about having a fabulous neighbor is bringing heavy stuff from the garage, from the basement to the garage. Okay. Yeah. Not that heavy, but okay. <laughs> Just very helpful. <laughs> All right. Uh, How many trips was that? What do you... Seven, six. Seven times two, 14 trips to the, from the Not basement. too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Check this out. Woo! We could have a dance party down here. If you're under five, five. Yes. Other than that, you're going to have a problem. See it up straight. No hands. No hands. Hand, <laughs> hands like this. Like you're... <laughs> Hilarious. Uh <-huh. laughs> really good to have strong neighbors willing to help. Woo! And get dusty. Ow! <laughs> Bringing in helpers is always a great idea. Who can you recruit but might be strong to help you move things up and out and clear your space? I know I got more to go, but I tell you, I'm feeling pretty energized with just removing the items that I no longer desire and require. Let me give you a little preview about what's going to happen in the next phase. Well, in the next phase, I'll figure out what to do with this. <laughs> or maybe recruit someone to tell me what to do with that. And I also have like old paint and supplies and things like that over there. So that will be phase two.